So the challenge today is to create a PLC program, a motor starter circuit, and test it in five minutes. I've been programming for 20 years, and I've found that Unity Pro is the easiest way to do that. So File New, select the PLC we're going to select. It doesn't matter. And we are going to test this thing using the simulator, so I have no PLC. So the first step is to open the PLC rack. I don't need eight slots, so we go with four slots. I put a discrete input module in, and I put a relay output module in, and I'll put an analog in there just for fun. When I select the analog module, you'll notice that each of the channels is individually configurable and individually scalable. When you select the discrete input module, if I select the module, the I.O. objects will go look at the channel, will update the grid, I'll select the 16 channels, and I'll call them input underscore, create them, and then I'll select the output module, select the module, I.O. objects, channel, update the grid, select 16 channels, not the module, and we'll call this output underscore. And we are done. So when I look at the variables, uh, you see I've created the variables. We'll go ahead and alias a start. Uh, we're going to call it an extended bool so that we can force it. And we are going to select the properties and we're going to alias this to the first input. I will select, I will create a stop and I will create a motor. And I will select my motor. I'm going to alias that to one of my outputs. We'll do it with the first output the value, not the error, and then we'll select our stop and we will alias that to our second input. So we're done configuring. We've created our variables. We can close our windows here. We'll close the big window. We can close this window. We go down to our master task, right click, new section, Everyone's programmed in ladder, so I'm going to select the function block diagram. I'm going to call this motor logic. Enter. We'll expand this. I will use an OR gate. And I will use an AND gate. FFB input assistant, and all I have to do is type the gate that I want to use. I will link the OR with the AND. I'm going to put my stop, start, excuse me. This is my latch circuit, so this will be my motor. My stop, and because the stop is normally closed, I'm going to knot it, which is the little knot gate. And then my output is also going to be my motor. And now we'll PLC connect to the online simulator. You'll notice the loopback address. I PLC transfer project to PLC. We want it to run after the start, but it'll ask us rebuild all and start. Okay. I'll zoom in so you can see this a little better. I will right click and force the value to a 1 you'll see that it stops. It is momentary, so I'll force it off, and then I will push the stop button. And then I will release the stop button. And then another way to do that is select everything, right click, initialize the animation table. We can resize so that we can see everything at once. And I will simply select the force, I will force the start, and then I will force the stop. 
and we've tested the logic.